just kept running like there was no tomorrow. Because there wouldn't be if Clanton and his men caught up with me. As I was scurrying around those caves, I thought, what was I thinking, going up against a gang like this? Kill him! I just kept running, not knowing where the hell I was going. And that's when something miraculous happened. Like mana from heaven, I found the desiccated remains of what looked like an Apache warrior. The old weapon next to him supplied me with some much needed ammunition. Bat Masterson once told me it was more important to be lucky than good, and he would know. And imagine my surprise when I found a fistful of dynamite to go along with that ammo. That stroke of good fortune, even the odds, and bolstered my confidence. It was time to turn the tables. Time for the prey to become the predator. Time for the hunted to become the hunter. Oh! Time! All right, Jesus, we get it. <sighs> They were right where you wanted them. That's right, Jack. I was done running. And the old man's boys were not expecting that. No, sir. I came at them like a wildcat. My fury knew no bounds. It was finally time for that old man to pay for his sins. I yelled out at the top of my lungs, Clanton, I'm coming for you! A little stealth might have made more sense, to be perfectly honest. Because that old fool had a Gatlin gun and enough bullets to last him till kingdom come. But I knew I could not let that deter me. Not if I was to find and kill Ringo. I needed to get that old man off that gun.
Apparently, one of the cowboys made it out of there alive and told Ike and Billy Clanton that it wasn't a Mexican who took their father's life that day. They just assumed it was one of the Earps. And that little misunderstanding eventually led to that legendary gunfight at the OK Corral. A few weeks after that dust-up at the OK Corral, I was still after Johnny Ringo. I had tracked him and the cowboys to their hideout at a sawmill, and they were loaded for bear. So, what exactly? did Johnny Ringo do to piss you off? Well, him and that other bastard. Roscoe Bob Bright? Yep. They both deserve to die, and I promise I'll tell you why. But first I need to tell you about the cowboy's new boss. Curly Bill took charge of the Cowboys upon the old man's demise, and after that gunfight at the OK Corral, the clan was wanted revenge. He'll kill us all! So they murdered Morgan Earp and grievously wounded his older brother, Virgil. Wyatt and Doc went on what became known as the Vendetta Ride, hunting those outlaws down. So when I showed up, that's who they thought I was. Killers around every corner, all wearing red bandanas. That's how the cowboys identified each other. And I was beginning to wish I had one myself. But I wasn't about to let Ringo walk away unscathed. And that's what drove me forward. They say that Ringo was infernally fast. I hardly saw anyone faster, boy. Certainly not Wyatt Earp. That man was all hat and no cap. Earp wasn't much of a match for him. But Doc Holliday might have taken it. 
That lunger should have kept his nose out of it. They never charged anyone for the murder of Morgan Earp. I'll put you down! Oh! But everybody knew that Curly shot him in the back. That was common knowledge. Yeah, maybe so. But Ringo had nothing to do with it. He was just being loyal to a friend. Is that what you call it? Being loyal. Well, to get to that loyal friend, I had to pass by some buzz saws as big as a man. Excuse me, sir. I have a question. What's that, Dwight? After old man Clanton died, why didn't his son take over the Cowboys? Because I Clanton was dumber than a box of rocks and a yellow belly to boot. Now, where was I? Taking down the entire Cowboy gang single-handed. Indeed I was, Jack. It wasn't easy as those boys had good cover. Parts everywhere, piles of lumber, and God knows what else for people to hide behind. That really was one hell of a sawmill. Quite an impressive operation. And where was Curly Bill? Did you see him? I'm about to get to that, Ben. Patience. I'm painting a picture here. There was this beautiful waterfall and a crystal clear stream that led to a verdant valley that was truly... Consider your picture painted. 
What happened next? Well, finally the bastards that were still alive made a last stand. Curly Bill, Johnny Ringo, and his compadres took off into the lumber yard, and I followed after. Cowardice was not in Ringo nor Curly Bill's nature. No, sir. I never said they were running scared. They just wanted me out in the open. take his life. But Ringo was nowhere to be found. I knew you didn't kill Ringo, because he was found dead in a different location altogether. To this day, his killer is still unknown. Indeed. It took me a few months before I finally tracked his ass to West Turkey Creek Canyon.
That's incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. Sorry I had to ruin the legend for you, boy. But the legend ain't always true. Doc Holliday had nothing to do with the death of Johnny Ringo.